Okay, hi there guys. So, I like that last episode I got some really nice uh, comments on my video for, uh, I'm, I'm afraid of saying his name again, Stepan. And this episode we're going to talk about Ashley Wood. Uh, as always, you know, links will be in the description and if you need anything else provided, I will give it to you. Art is not mine, clearly. I'm just doing a review on his amazing work. So, I have to also announce something because I didn't feel like saying it before. I have been doing my top three favorite artists. So, number three was actually O Nips, and number one is Ashley Wood, and you know, number two is Tiapan. So, it's been awesome that. Number three and number two have answered, and I'm not expecting Ashley to even look at this or to even notice any tweets or anything that I might send out his way, but I am just glad to be doing this and maybe somebody watching uh, and, you know, knowing a little bit more about him. Now, I know that from what I've seen on some reviews... There's a lot of people that don't like his art. There's a lot of people that don't like his art and certain things that they like. But, for example, when I found out about Zar, I absolutely loved it. No matter where he put it. So, we're going to start talking about it. Let's, let's jump into it, right? Why am I pushing you guys like this? Let's go. Number one I want to talk about. I want to talk about lore, but I thought that this image was really good. I don't know if it's from lore. Uh, I will show you the comic, uh, but this image reminded me a lot of lore. And I've been searching for his images all along, but, you know, they're kind of mixed. And his style is always very similar, going from one comic to the other. Or just his normal style, where he just does, you know, typical art that he likes. So it was very complicated for me to choose, you know, uh, what to put in this. Uh, I did search to, like, for specific stuff, but all they gave me was the covers. And the covers I will show you in a bit because this is the only artist that I actually own some things for him. I mean, I don't have money, so I don't own a lot. And what I do own, you know, it's just stuff that I find important or that I found, you know, in second hand that looked like in it was in, in good state that's what i wanted to say all right so that art you can clearly see that from the last two that i've been talking about this is pretty different so last two that i talked about their art was about perfecting what you could do with the human state and with the human body they perfected you know everything and while Ashley he doesn't line everything he doesn't he makes it very simple he he works really hard and he puts a lot of soul into it it doesn't it's not art that is abstract but it's not art that is a hundred percent realistic his art is kind of like he imagines like, he imagines it, and then he does it, and it looks amazing. I don't know why my English today is very bad. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to focus because I don't like redoing stuff. I like to put it raw and to just do stuff. So, in this piece, you can clearly see. I'm not pointing. You can clearly see in every single bit of it that it is, there's, there's work to it. But there is also a sense of you guess, you see it, you transform it with your own head. And I really like that in his art, which is very unlike me because I always say, oh, I don't like abstract. But in his heart, like when he does stuff that's not 100% visible at first, it's still something that I love. Also about comics that he does, I won't talk about all of them. Uh, like I said, I only have a few. Actually, I only have Lore, Metal Gear Solid, Pop Bot, and Tank Girl, The Gifting. So, those are the ones that 
of essentially red and I don't like reading his art online it actually makes me very uh, you know just confused and it doesn't make me happy to read it online it's not an art that I consider that it looks good uh, except if I actually have it so what I have is what I've read and that's pretty much it I have read a little bit more of Tank Girl but then that's why I didn't I like read it and I was like mm, I don't like to read it online so I'll just leave it and maybe someday I'll come back and I'll actually buy it when I get the money so starting off with the fact that no his art is not 100% realistic yes his art is pretty much either done in simple colors usually from what I have uh, the colors are not very bright and sometimes he doesn't even use color at all or if he does use it it's very toned out it's very uh, background but it still fits a lot with the characters and the way that everything forms so lore is also something that I actually really enjoyed I thought mm, this is what the one that I'm not going to enjoy when I got my little uh, pack of comics I got two issues which I will show you later on I have uh, my camera for that and I thought mm, I don't know about this I went into it without a lot of courage but they were really good I actually enjoy them uh, it's a comic that I don't advise for everybody if you don't like his art which I will keep showing just don't read the comics because from the comics that I have and from some comics like this, art is pretty much the comic itself. So, you know, don't like the art, just move on the line. If you do like the art, I consider actually reading the comics because they are really well written. The only problem that people have that I see in reviews like all the time and they they just piss me off because I love his art is just about how it's done and that's not very nice but doesn't matter let's move on to the next one Metal Gear Solid oh my god first of all a lot of people don't know about this comic they don't know that it exists uh, and when they did know that it exists uh, when it when I told them hey it actually is a thing they were like oh it is and they didn't like it so that's a thing uh <laughs> once again i really do like his art uh he doesn't need a lot of detailed background he actually doesn't do a lot of backgrounds from what i have uh you know his backgrounds are very bland sometimes not even there at all the characters are main focus Unless he needs to do backgrounds, which I will show you later on. Uh, but you can see right here, it's really, really good. Uh, I also advise you to read it in case you like Metal Gear or you like his art. Or you don't like Metal Gear Solid and you don't want to read it, you don't read it. But it's not exactly like in the games. Clearly you're reading it, it's a different sort of media. And... For example, I don't play the games, but I really like the comics, so I do advise you reading it, because it's amazing, okay? Pop! Bop! Okay, so, I don't really have a nice picture of it, uh, although I tried to research, I tried uh, to get it. I don't know why the internet just hates me or hates Ashley. And they don't let me get nice pictures of his comics or of his art. But I own Pop Bot Reader Volume 1 first printing. Which, a hey, very happy about that. That was That's like one of my treasures uh, in my collection. So I don't have, you know, some nice art to show you over there. But it's also something that I really like. Uh, just gotta warn you, and just gotta warn you in general, almost all of my artists, uh, their art is a little bit sexual, uh, in case you haven't noticed, by now, Onips, and then, uh, Stiapan, when we came to Ashley Wood, Ashley Wood is a 
very sexual. So, like, <laughs> like the other two. So, in case you don't like stuff like that, uh, well, don't get into this. Except if it's Metal Gear Solid. Um, or Lore, I don't think, has any sexual stuff that I have gotten into. Or at least not, it's not focused on that. <laughs> or, you know, if you like Tank Girl, we're going to be passing by that just in a second. But Popot, I really like the way that it works. His, uh, if you guys search for it, it's a cat that's a mastermind and he has Popot. And Popot is a very nice robot. That's, that's, uh, something. <laughs> Yes, that is how it works. Now, like I said, we're going to move on to Tank Girl. I also couldn't find nice pictures of it. Why does everything hate me? <laughs> so he did do some Tank Girl. Um, what I have is Tank Girl the gifting. And I actually quite enjoyed it. It was really funny. It felt like Tank Girl. And I know that the reviews aren't very good because the reviews complain that... His art doesn't fit Tank Girl. His art, uh, you know, is not supposed to be in Tank Girl because the only person who can draw Tank Girl is, you know, the original artist. Which right now, I'm sorry, I'm just having like a mental breakdown of not remembering his name. Kill me in the comments because I actually do really like him. It's Jamie Hewlett. Okay, it's Hewlett. <laughs> so that went out for a second. Uh, so, you know, people saying that only Hewlett can do it, and that's kind of like, would they like to kill the franchise? If only Hewlett did it, then Tank Girl would better be off, just stopped. Because, you know, artists will change. I mean, some of them do grab stuff and they just make their own thing, but it won't last forever if it's always them doing it. You know, either that or it will take a lot of time. For them to actually do something. Comics aren't easy to make. They are very hard. And you put a lot of time into them. Writing and drawing them. And then coloring them. People don't know. But it's you know stuff that takes months. Years if not. You know. And I, I respect if you know an artist says you know. I'll leave it up to some other artist. And then you either like that artist or you don't. But, you know, reviews are reviews, and they have their own, you know, you know, you know, you know, I'm kind of mad. And they have their own opinion. So, never go to Goodreads, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, I actually d didn't like researching for Ashley there. Uh, didn't feel very nice. But, you know... That is something, and I need to stop saying you know. So, let's keep moving. So, oh yeah. So, as you can see here, Tank Girl is being weird, in case you have the time to read it. And I really do advise <laughs> that you read the gifting to realize what she is doing, because... It's really funny. Uh, I actually really do love this part of the comic. And it was one of the only pictures I found. I was like, yes, that is perfect. <laughs> so, yeah, grab it if you can. Moving on to some of his other art. So, like I said, I found art that's, uh, you know, it wasn't connected to a certain comic. Maybe it is, but I just didn't find it. Which uh, I found, like, what, what the hell? Maybe it's connected. Oh, I shouldn't be putting this. I just had a small realization that that is her butt. Well, no, no actual nudity. I mean, there's a lot of videos out there with girls showing their butts and YouTube hasn't caught on to them. So let's just say that this video is fine. We're safe, guys. We're safe. Oh, we're not. Oh yeah, there's the, that other part, which uh, we're going to ignore. That's actually a, a duck right now. Okay, we're going to ignore the nudity in this art. <sighs> I really I really should have checked the image uh, with uh, with more 
detail before and thought, hey, I'm doing a video. But it doesn't matter because look at this. Look, look at this. Look at this art. Look at this art. Look how good it is. I know a lot of people won't like this, first of all, because it feels like everything blends into, you know, itself and... There's a lot of details missing, there's this and that, and there's always people who dislike that. Or for example, there's no lines that define the character, or for example, the cat. Maybe he didn't even notice that there was a cat there, but there is. <laughs> right on top, you can see it next to her arm to the front. So, yeah. I, I really think that this one is cool. I think that a lot of his art is cool, and this is part of it. This is a really good part of it. As you can see, I'm just popping images because I still want to show you the comics, and I don't want to go too over, uh, you know, my 30-minute thing. So here you have another piece of his art, uh, also. Something that people probably complain is, again, it has no detail, but something that people probably like, hey, his lines are way more defined than this, uh, are you happy, question mark? People will never be happy, uh, you know, you either like it or you dislike it or you don't love it or you can put it whichever way you'd like. I actually really like it. I like the way that he does stuff even though it's usually not what I like because I personally love you know characters who are anatomically correct and for example in his comics they are not 100% anatomically correct either they have like legs that are too long arms that are too thin um, you know stuff that is not a hundred for me in his art it makes it like a thousand for me it doesn't matter if it's, you know, not perfect, not anatomically, you know, it's not the most perfect thing I've ever seen, but it is really good still. So, that's something. Also, because I said, uh, you know, he doesn't do backgrounds very often. Here's a background, and as you can see, for example, uh, when we get to the end, you know, the wide like going across this page some people that's a problem for me that's not because that really fits in with the environment also this piece has a lot of detail there you there you go here's a piece with ex <laughs> with an extreme amount of detail uh, and still something that people wouldn't like first of all uh, here's something that I've also heard it's that Sometimes uh, he doesn't forgot how you do the artistic term to it. He doesn't mesh the colors. He doesn't make them, you know, for example, a gray on a white. He doesn't make a dark gray into light gray and then white. No, he just goes for dark gray and white. And that's a problem for a lot of people. For example, if my teacher saw that, uh, he would be like, well, what the hell are you doing? And I'd be like, art? And still, even if he doesn't do that, you can clearly see where it's going. And you can see how good it is. So, here's, here's a great piece. I really enjoyed this one. I mean, you know, just their guns on the robots. And the small lines. Maybe you can't see uh, on the video, but the robots do have small lines that go across them. Uh, their legs and the way that they have, you know, uh, the way that he has made them is just amazing. I really do appreciate almost everything that he does in his art, which is weird because, like I said, it's not the kind of art that I usually like. It's just his art is really good. Moving on to me showing you the comics. Finally, oh my god, we're here. Yes. So I have Lord right, right, right here. Um, 
as you can see, it's probably a comic that's like, um, I don't know, 50 pages, 40 something, without uh, advertising, I think. I'll open it for you guys. Also, here's the back of it. I was going to open it uh, differently, but I'll just open it like that. Okay. No, yeah, like like I guessed. Uh, there isn't much advertising to it. Okay, so here's a reason why people might not like it. Uh, I'm I'm like trying. I don't want to show you a lot of the story clearly. Um, for example, here we go. If you look at this page. And if you look closely into this page, because this is something that you'd have in person, you can see that, you know, it's not detailed, it's not, doesn't have perfect lines, everything is very blurry, the face is not complete. I'm trying to get more reasons why people don't like it, because I still really do enjoy it. But I'm trying to get their vision on it, and why they would not be interested into reading this. Alright, let's talk about another blurry scene. I mean, you can clearly see when I pass the pages. Also, the fact that he doesn't do background, see? I mean, you see this as a background. This is not what we call a background in comics, usually. These are like lines. If you went closer, you can see that they, you know, they're just sketched lines that do trees, but you know, it's not a very focused uh, background. It's more focused on the characters. Oh, I don't want to be showing you that. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Once again, very blurry. Still some lines over there. Also, the way that he does these people might annoy some people, so that that's something. And then I don't want to spoil anything else. But if you did like the art on that, if you did see the good things that I was probably seeing in it, then this is something that you might get. You're also looking at Lord too, aren't you? God damn it. I should just pack this later. Ah! See, this is the problem when I take issues out. They don't go back in. This one actually did. Yeah, this one. So I'm going to show you the background of it. Yeah. The background of it? No, I'm, I'm showing the back of the comic. Oh, oh, damn it. I'm really bad with real life stuff. Here we go. That's lore. Now, now, this one belongs to the Metal Gear Solid series. Yes, I'm turning it around. What am I doing with my life? I don't know why I keep turning them around. I'm very smart, uh, you know. Uh, I gotta facepalm myself. I'm so, I'm so used to my camera being turned around. <laughs> now that it's actually turned to the right side, I can't, can't handle it. So yeah, no, here's... Here's Metal Gear Solid. I mean, if you turn it around, it's still Metal Gear Solid. It's a really nice comic, isn't it? You, whether you like it or not, <laughs> I like it. Here's the second one. God, I wish I had more of these. Oh my god. Yes, here it is. Here's my precious Pop Pop Reader. Now. Oh yeah, here's a picture that I actually wanted to get online, but it didn't seem to be uh, with a good quality for me to get it, which is... I've been showing you shit wrong, okay. Well, I'm that smart. Don't hate me. Okay, yeah, so it has a bunch of art from a lot of people, you see? So for example, this this part of this comic... It's just random people drawing it. I think there's Mike Magnola. Yes. Okay, there you go. There's a reason to get this issue. 
And then there's the little comic. Oh god. Yeah, I, I forgot that. Uh, let, let me let me just let me just uh well I wasn't looking clearly <laughs> see here's the thing I know exactly what's in the books I just forget that that it's not okay <laughs> all right so since I've been an idiot don't worry I'll, I if you haven't seen the other covers correctly I shall show them to you actually let's just put it to the side okay last but not least, clearly, my love, Tenko. A lot of people hate this. If you don't like Tank Girl drawn in another style, don't read this. If you do, read this. If you want to read this, but don't want to get it, go get it. Don't fucking do that. It's not worth reading it without having it. And no, I'm not going to borrow you shit because uh, this this is clearly mine. So yeah, this is um, Stank Girl. Yeah, look at that, look at that. I'm also not gonna open it. Okay, for a second I got scared of what the hell was that. Yeah, look at that. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I gotta put my pop bot back in its cage. Hope you guys enjoy this. I hope this was fun. I'm sorry for fucking up and thinking that the camera was turned around uh, for some goddamn reason. <laughs> it's really weird. Okay, here's, here it is. Also, I'm, I'm gonna be turning everything around. This, this doesn't matter. That's uh, something. Here you go. And here you go. Here you go, and here you go. Because for some reason I thought that having them upside down was a good thing. But oh well, uh, thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up. Hate me on the comments, or like me, or just don't. But I hope you had fun, and here's an introduction to Ashley Wood. Bye!